was supposed to be a press conference in which the Zimbabwe tour selection, the team for that was to be announced. That was, but uh, there was another topic that took over conversation there and the three names, international players who were named in Lalit Modi's tweets, including two current Indian players, that came up. And uh, here's what the board had to say about those names. International Cricket Council, when they got an email, they got an email. BCCI को इससे अवगत करवाया और इस पर इंक्वायरी आईसीसी को कंडक्ट करने क्योंकि उनका एंटी करप्शन यूनिट इस पर काम करता है तीनों खिलाड़ी अंतरराष्ट्रीय क्रिकेट खेलते हैं आईसीसी के नियम के अनुसार उनको इसके ऊपर इंक्वायरी करनी है और उन्होंने इंक्वायरी डेफिनेटली की हो तो फॉलो अप इज देर इज नथिंग इन दैट इफ देर कुड हैव बिन समथिंग दे कुड हैव रिपोर्टेड बैक टू अस इफ देर इज नथिंग फ्रॉम द आईसीसी ऑफ कोर्स यस इट्स अ क्लीन शीट ओनली See if ICC has not reported anything on that. That means it's a clean sheet. Rika Roy was at that venue of the meeting and joins us now for more on that. Uh, Rika, there was a more elaborate answer that came from Anurag Thakur towards the end of the press conference where he said it was under the ICC jurisdiction since it happened so long back and nothing had been said about it. So in effect, it was a clean sheet. Absolutely. Um, the board chose to give, give a clean chit to the two current cricketers, one of whom uh, has been dropped from the team to Zimbabwe and the other has been rested. Uh, what we do know now is that the BCCI was made aware of uh, these players' activities, but um, uh, the rule is that the ACSU of ICC uh, con contacts the SESU of the respective country, which means uh, in this case they had contacted the BCCI SESU and uh, the anti Corruption unit corresponds with the president and the secretary of the respective country, which means in that, this case, N. Srinivasan and Sanjay Patel were contacted by uh, BCCI's SESU, and they probably did not think that these were actionable offenses, which is why there was no action taken, which is why the matter was not forwarded to the disciplinary committee and not even discussed in any working committee. And today, the the uh, current secretary of the board, Anurag Thakur, said that since the ICC did not find uh, any basis to all these allegations and they did not find uh, these allegations to be valid, they may have uh, uh, they may have sought to give a clean chit to the players, though ICC in its mail writes that they did let the BCCI SESU know about it. Anurag Thakur also saying that since these were players, uh, international players, the jurisdiction was the ICC's. Absolutely, because uh, these are international players, ICC had to look into uh, the allegations and all the activities that are concerned. Uh, uh, Lalat Modi has uh, leveled the allegations of uh, quid pro quo uh, against these uh, three against these three international players, and hence ICC had to swing into action in this case. And first, the case was taken up by ICC, and later the uh, local wing of BCCI's ACSU was contacted.